Are you an empty nester spending your days cleaning and maintaining all those extra unused rooms in your single family home and thinking about downsizing to a condo in a climate friendly area, perhaps near a beach? Sound appealing? I think I hear a resounding yes! But there's more to condo living you should know. Pros and cons of condo living is the topic of this video. So let's get started. Hello everyone, Meryl Ibrahim here, Broker Associate with Coldwell Banker Realty in the beautiful Palm Beaches, Florida. If you've been here before, thank you and welcome back. If you're new to my channel and want to learn about lifestyles, communities and some real estate in the Palm Beaches, click on the subscribe button and bell so you'll be notified each time I make a new video. There's no doubt that buying a condo can be a great decision for some people. Aging empty nesters, young couples and busy professionals often find it liberating to live in a low maintenance home where major decisions are handled by other people. Condos have never been more popular, particularly with the baby boomers population. Those are individuals between the ages of 55 and 75, as they often start to think about downsizing and moving into homes that are easier to care for. So let's start with a quick overview of what is a condo. Simply put, it's a privately owned unit within a multi-unit property or complex. And while condos are individually owned like single family homes, there is a difference in that condo residents share walls, common spaces and amenities with their neighbors. And that is the most fundamental difference. And though there are many other factors differentiating condo living from single family living, this is not the purpose of this video. This video is about the pros and cons of living in a condo in the Palm Beaches. So pro number one, less maintenance. This is probably considered the leading benefit of living in a condo since other people do the maintenance for you. They maintain the grounds, they fix the roof, they maintain the exterior of the building, shared spaces and the amenities. No more pool maintenance if you've had a pool in the past and know what it takes to keep up with a pool. As a condo owner, you maintain your individual unit. This community-based management system helps keep your property value high and reduce costs for you, the condo owner. This in-house maintenance and often security are two of the biggest benefits of owning a condo. In addition, you live in close proximity to many other people, which in an emergency means you will have access to plenty of people for help. Pro number two, amenities. While condo living can make it super easy for residents to travel, amenities can make the rest of the time feel like you're on vacation. Many condos come with amenities that would be extremely expensive to build into a single family home. So a dip in the pool at any time of the day or time of year, the use of a community gym or honing your tennis skills can all be part of daily living or without leaving the comfort of your community. Pro number three, lock up and go. When you're the owner of a single family home, you need to put some planning into taking a vacation, things like lawn maintenance, pool maintenance, hiring a house sitter are part of the vacation planning. Whereas as a condo owner, you can just lock up and go knowing that the property will be taken care of while you're gone. So if you enjoy traveling, condo living could be a great option for you. Pro number four, a sense of community. Shared amenities offer you as a condo owner plenty of opportunities to get to know your neighbors, whether you run into them at the gym or at the pool or hanging out together in a shared lounge, you can make new friends with people who live around you. And many of these condo communities plan various social activities like game night, cocktail mixers and barbecues. Pro number five, the views are better. If your idea of living on the ocean in retirement is on the horizon, then condo living could just be your ticket. From watching sunrises and sunsets to taking an early morning walk on the sand 
and discovering those beachside seafood restaurants. Or maybe you'll catch a glimpse of a paddleboarder, a luxury yacht floating by, a blimp floating by, and so much more. How can any two days be alike? Now let's consider the cons of condo living. Con number one, costly assessments. Condo buildings require constant upkeep, particularly if they are on the ocean. Due to the harmful effects of salt air, these buildings need to go through periodic concrete and restoration projects. And not only are these repairs quite costly, they are disruptive for many months. And while a well-run condo association can function as an asset to owners by helping keep property values high, a poorly managed one can be a pain point for condo owners. Operating accounts for regular expenses and the reserve account are things that you must look into at the time of purchase. Ideally, both accounts should be sufficiently funded to ensure that the funds are being managed well and there is enough money in the reserve account to cover unexpected expenses. Con number two, lack of privacy. While condos offer close-knit communities, it is possible to feel too close to your neighbors. Given the proximity to your neighbors, it can be challenging to find privacy at times. For example, a quiet, relaxing evening on the balcony overlooking the ocean can quickly turn into a bad idea if a loud neighbor steps onto their balcony. As the saying goes, you can't pick your neighbors in a condo. Bad neighbors can exist anywhere, even in a suburban single family home. But with a condo, the condo association may be able to step in and help smooth things out. Con number three, rules and regulations. Living in a condo means you have to live by the management rules. These rules can seem overwhelming to abide by at times, especially when it comes to pet restrictions and renovations. And yes, these guidelines are in place to help increase property values, reduce insurance costs and create a happy, vibrant community, but it might also feel overbearing for some buyers. Con number four, selling concerns. Condos can be difficult to sell for a number of reasons. First, not everyone wants to live in a condo. Families with young children often want a yard. People with multiple pets often need a yard. And some people just don't want to live on top of someone else. These factors narrow down your pool of potential buyers. Second, you have to consider the monthly condo fees as this will price some buyers out of buying. The quality of the condo association weighs in heavily on your ability to sell a condo, so it bears repeating. Make sure you buy into one with a well-run, well-funded condo association to increase your chances of a seamless resale in the future. In summary, Condo living can be a great option depending on your current needs. And in retirement, the trade-offs are minimal. The key is to focus on the financial health of the building and don't overlook the history of the structure as it pertains to prior inspections or concrete restorations. I hope you got something out of this video, especially those of you who are seriously considering buying a condo in the near future. If you liked this video, check out this one. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Or if you, you can call me, email me, or text me. Hope you're having a wonderful day and see you in the next video.